everybody, welcome back to Small Robots Review. I'm your host Elias and today we're going to be looking at some of the experiments going on at the International Space Station, including these guys. Spheres. They're robots. I promise. And here we're printing some organs? Is that even possible? 3D printing organs. So that is really cool. Also, let's talk about RoboMaster S1, the hottest robot today. I'm assembling it. I'm going to give you a quick update of what I'm learning so far and uh, get ready. We're about to blast off. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. The International Space Station. Breathtaking view and cutting edge technology. That must be nice. Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review. The show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world and out of this world. Today we're up on the International Space Station to take a look at some of the experiments going on. Now what you're looking at are polyhedron shaped floating satellites. They're known as spheres, S-P-H-E-R-E-S. And it's very likely in the future, the vanguard of our future space exploration will heavily rely on robots, maybe looking like this or other shapes, blazing ahead, working together to observe, collect materials and even build structures. Some of these robots may be even used on the space station or on spaceships to assist astronauts with everyday tasks. Spheres has been a testbed for this research and for teaching as well. In fact, astronauts aboard the ISS are preparing spheres to run the latest test code from participants of the Spheres Zero Robotics 2019 Middle School Summer Program. Zero Robotics is... Sounds like a, like a really fun competition. Zero Robotics is an international robotic competition using spheres organized by MIT that challenges middle and high school students to further develop this technology. Notice how the astronaut is holding the robots by that but seem to be like a cylinder. Well, that certainly is a gas canister because these robots use gas, CO2 gas for propulsion. It also uses ultrasonic sensors and infrared sensors to collect telemetry information to be able to figure out its uh, location, triangulate its location, and then uh, small bursts of that CO2 gas is released to enable movement around the station. Each robot weighs about 4.1 kilograms and has a diameter of about 21 centimeters. This is overall so exciting. I can't wait to see what the next evolution of these robots is going to look like. All right, let's move on and we're going to talk about 3D printing in space. And not the type of 3D printing you might think of. Crew members install the biofabrication facility, which provides a platform to attempt printing biological tissues in microgravity. So similar experiments on Earth are limited because gravity limits organ growth to two dimensions, basically up and down. Also, avoiding contact with the glass or the plastic that contains them would be really difficult. But in microgravity, you can build them in three dimensions. So similarly to a 3D printer, the biofabrication facility can extrude cells in layers to build tissue. So according to NASA, this investigation could serve as the first step towards achieving the ability to fabricate entire human organs in space. Imagine the benefits for humanity here on Earth and out there in space when we fly over to Mars and beyond. All right, let's return back to Earth now and talk about my adventures with RoboMaster S1. RoboMaster S1 is the new robot by DJI. They're known to make the best drones out there. Now, who would have thought that they were going to develop a land-based robot, but uh, they did. Now, my full review episode is going to come out later. I am going through the stages of assembling this robot. My gut feeling says that this robot is going to be a true game changer. The price tag is kind of high, but for that price, you're getting a lot of unique features not found in any other robots, like the unique Mechanum wheels. These wheels allow for omnidirectional movement. It has a two-axis mechanical gimbal, I'm sure technology taken directly from their amazing drones. It's got high-performance motors, comes with built-in intelligence sensing armor, comes with a camera that can recognize people, it can recognize gestures. Very exciting. 
It is a platform that you can also program using Scratch 3.0 or even Python. Overall, this sounds so good so far, I, I can't wait until the build is done. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, tell your friends, your family, share it, click the thumbs up, subscribe. I appreciate it all, and it helps me make more videos. All right, and with that, you guys take care. Until next time.